This program is sponsored by Bet's Gold Coin. Join us for good food, fun, and hospitality. Bet's Gold Coin, family friendly restaurant and sports tavern. Hi there, Bob Orchard coming to you from Old Town Mariposa. And uh, again, we're talking about Conflict Communications, the founder of the company, founding partner, and uh, his brother, the worker. who is team leader. The awesome guy. <laughs> Jason. That's me. <laughs> These guys are a bit of a clown act. Uh, I have I have too much fun with them, and and uh, and we're going to try to keep this show focused on what we need to talk about. If I can <laughs> get them <laughs> to control themselves a little <laughs> bit. Uh, by the way, I enjoy clown acts, so I uh, fit right in. But we're going to talk about the technology involved here. And uh, Jason, you're the you're the tech guru in this in this company, and mm -hmm. and you want to talk to me a little bit about what wireless systems are compared to a wired system. Okay, well, it, it's come a long way, that's for sure. When we first started, it was really, really, uh, it was yeah, good then. it was it was good at the time. But it was we're talking about eight hundred two eleven B. You know, you're you're looking at uh, in a clear clear spectrum, perfect thing. You're looking at four meg. You know, that's like whoa, four meg to yeah. the house. But at the time, I thought it was really cool that we you can shoot, you know, get ten, uh, go ten mile, uh, thirty mile shots, get five meg out of it. That was pretty cool back then. But now, you know, everyone has Netflix and that sort of thing. So uh, the industry is is going big time. Um, I mean, you can we have licensed spectrum microwave dishes now that can do multiple gigs per second. Um, it's pretty amazing stuff. So, it, you say you get fiber. You know, I have to. Back you up. Oh, sure, bit. sure. When we talk about gigs and megabytes and things like that, we're talking about thousands of bits of information, millions of bits yeah, of information yeah, gig that are coming across in a second. Yeah, yeah, milliseconds, really. Or even under on yeah, licenses. Yeah. So, uh, this is information traveling at the speed of light, mm -hmm. and we have width. How, bro how broad the bandwidth is, and we have speed. Mm -hmm. So width and speed kind of define how much information we can exchange. Yeah, D it could th depending on how efficient radios are, are getting, you'll have your your space say, so like 20 megahertz of of five gigahertz space, and that would give you, uh, depending on the radio and brand, uh, how much bandwidth or speed you get. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, we can get multiple gigabits per second to a tower now. Spread that out amongst the community, and uh, you know it's just like getting fiber to the home or, or DSL or cable to the home. Okay. Um, getting back to your point, yeah. When you um, when you set this system up, uh, you're you got one signal going out to a community. It's like a television mm -hmm. that shoots a, a ray of information out there, and then people tap into that. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, so you come in with a point-to-point -point system and then go to point-to-multi-point -point where you can hit you know, hundreds of homes at the same time. It's a lot like cell phone. Yeah, it is a lot like cell phone. Okay. Just fixed. They yeah. call it fixed wireless. So instead of people running around with their computers online, you just have the antenna on the home. So it's just a... Nope. And uh, they're getting the... They can get this... This is the same kind of system that HughesNet is D uh, sat di different. They're satellite, yeah. uh, but I guess they are wireless in a way. And it, but it's just going s so far to space and back. So there's a lot of latency there. That's why I compare it to a cell phone. Yeah. So our latency is, is milliseconds because it you know it's, let's say it's only a millisecond from you know maybe let's say let's say one to ten milliseconds from the home to the tower. So that's a whole lot less than from the home to space and back. Okay, and. Uh, when we talk about speeds, there's a difference between the upload and the download speeds, right? Yeah, because there's there's almost uh, there's only so much airtime in wireless. So I dedicate you know 75 or 85 percent towards download, so that people because uh, that's what 100 percent of people mainly do. Unless you're say you're live streaming or something like that, where you need more upload, which we do offer. Uh, most of the time, though, people are just Netflixing, YouTubing. 
Um, and that would be download. And that's all download. Upload would be like, I mean, some people upload pictures to Facebook, Instagram, social media. Uh, so we do give enough upload for that. But I mean, most people don't need more than just a few megabits per second. Upload. So yeah, so that way that's why we sell like a, say a three by one or a twenty five by three. It's just um, it, it, it's more heavy on the download. Three by one, twenty five by three. What and, the, and those are uh, megabits per second. Okay. This um, this is a, a technical end that. Uh, most of us as users never get in touch with until it doesn't go right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, technology, you're working on cutting edge stuff. And uh, the, the, in the business we call it the bleeding edge. And technology is evolving and equipment is evolving and service is evolving along with it. Yeah. Um, you have uh, some reliability issues? Well, if you are on the, uh, like right on that bleeding edge you're talking about, sometimes, yeah, the stuff's untested and, you, mm -hmm. and they claim, you know, you're going to get so and so speed or so and so reliability um, and it's just not there. Yeah. But uh, we've learned that with the brand we go with is uh, Cambium and uh, they're the most reliable thing we've, we've dealt with. Uh, there's other ISPs that use Ubiquity. Um, and Microtech and other brands like that, but we, we've had reliability issues. And there's nothing worse than you're sitting at home on Saturday, you know, and you're watching some TV, and then all of a sudden, you know, a tower goes wrong because you're using uh, weak equipment. So it's better to spend a little more money up front for us and have that reliability. Yeah. Um, the uh, I had a question in mind, but it, you brought it up at. Uh, I'm going to have to come back to that. Um, we're running a little pinched on time here, and I'd like to come back and talk a little bit about service on the user end. But for now, I think we're going to sign off and uh, All right. call it a day. Sounds good. And, you know, I really appreciate you guys being here. I love the hats. <laughs> and I like uh, the hat too, yeah. You fit right in. Yeah. Uh, I feel like I fit. Have I, you I thought about moving to Mariposa? I actually did once. Uh, yeah, his wife really likes it here, yeah. actually. Um, and and my wife's uh, mom is actually was the sheriff in Mariposa. A sheriff? Uh, yes. A deputy. Deputy. I don't think we've ever had a woman Not a sheriff, sheriff. But, but she she worked for the police up here for a long time. Really? But, uh, we ended up finding a place up in Groveland that fit us perfect. So. If we didn't find that, I probably might have looked into moving down here. Well, it's not too late to change your mind. <laughs> At any rate, um, we'll be back to you, and uh, we have an, uh, some more to talk about with Conifer. Conifer Communications. Take it easy. Mm -hmm.